In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to integrate Contact Form 7 with MailChimp so whenever somebody submits your contact forms, they're also added to a list in your MailChimp account so you can segment your users based on where the contact forms were and email them all separately, or you can manage that in however you want. But either way, when they submit the contact form, they're going to be added to MailChimp after you do what I show you in this tutorial. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you click subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And with that out of the way, let's head in the screen capture and integrate Contact Form 7 with MailChimp. I'll see you there. The first thing we have to do to integrate MailChimp with Contact Form 7 is go to Plugins and then Add New, and then look up CF7 MailChimp, and the one I'm going to use is this one right here, Contact Form 7 MailChimp Extension. You might be tempted by this one, but this does not add MailChimp to your contact forms. This is a separate opt-in module for Contact Form 7. This one will actually add the functionality to a contact form. So click on Install Now after you've backed up your site and your database to make sure you have a backup if something goes sideways. Then click on Activate once it's installed, and that takes us right to a contact form to the tab that's been added called MailChimp. Up here, there's information about the plugin. It'll likely appear a lot. You can click the X to close it. It'll probably come back. If you don't want to use the form that was opened automatically, just go to contact forms and there'll be a list of all your contact forms. And you can add MailChimp functionality to all of them, some of them. You can have different forms go to different lists. However you want to do it, using the steps we're going to go through now. Normally when you open a form, the form tab will be open like this and you will see MailChimp on all the forms now, this tab here and we need to add the MailChimp API key, MailChimp list ID, the subscriber email, and the subscriber name. The debug logger, really only need that if you're having problems with the plugin. If it works the first time you put these things in, you don't need to worry about that. So let's get this information now and then look at more details later. So to get the MailChimp API key and the list ID, we have to log in to MailChimp. Over here, we're at MailChimp, login.mailchimp.com. If you already have a MailChimp account, you already know about all this. If you don't have a MailChimp account yet, I have linked to tutorial down below and in the card above so that you can get your MailChimp account. It's totally free, up to 12,000 emails per month and 2,000 subscribers, I believe. So you can get a lot done with a free MailChimp account. Just going to log in here. And to get the API key, we have to open our account area here and then click on account. Click on extras to open that menu, then click on API keys. Now, if we scroll down here, you can read about API keys if you want or developing apps if you want. But for this plugin to work, we just need our API key in this section here. This is probably how yours will look if you don't have a key yet. Click on create key to create one. Don't worry about the mandrel key at the moment. So we have this created now with our key right here. Just going to copy that key and paste it into this field. Now the list ID. In order for the list ID to work, we have to have a list. And I have two lists. I'm gonna just create a new one just for this purpose. So I'm gonna call this CF7 MailChimp list. I'm just gonna fill in this form really quickly with my info. And I believe that's all we need. Click on save. No, we don't. Put a description there. Now we have a new list called MailChimp list with two capitals in the word list, which is awesome. So to get to this list, we go back to our lists and we have it right here. Click this little down arrow on the right hand side and go to settings and scroll all the way down. And we have this field unique ID for list, whatever your list name is. So we're going to copy this unique ID. We're going to paste it in here. Now we have those two set up. The next ones are pretty easy. Subscriber email, which comes from your form. So if we go back to our form tab, we have an email field and a name field. Now the MailChimp tab here is picked up on all of these variables that are currently in our form. So all we have to do is copy and paste from here. So we know this one is the email. So we're gonna copy this, paste it in there. And we know this one is the name. Copy that, paste it in here. And now we can buy Renzo a coffee if we want. If not, we just go ahead and save this. 
and now our MailChimp extension is configured. So I'm going to copy this short code here and just create a new page. I'm going to try copying that again, didn't work the first time. Copy that, create a new page, call it CF7 MailChimp. Paste the short code in the text tab, not the visual tab, in the text tab, paste the short code. Click on publish, preview this guy or view this guy. So we have our form here, it's pretty short. So I'm just gonna fill in my name and then fill in my email. I'm gonna use one that's probably not in MailChimp already. And phone number. Of course, these fields would be different depending on what your form is or what your form has for fields. Suburb, Hong Kong. It's not really my suburb, but it's not even a suburb for that matter. Structure, structure two, message, message. So now our form is filled out and the important fields for MailChimp are gonna be the your name field and the email field. Those are the ones that are gonna populate into MailChimp. So I'm gonna go ahead and submit this. We get a thank you message and we'll have received an email notification now that somebody filled out this form and we'll see their information either in our inbox or in the database if you have the database plugin installed for contact form seven. Now going back to MailChimp at some point, often not instantly, we'll have a new subscriber in here. So I'm just gonna pause this video. Current timestamp is Wednesday, 4.05 p.m. So we'll see how long it takes for the next subscriber to show up in this list. Gonna pause it till then. So it's now Wednesday, 4.06 p.m. So it's taken right around one minute and our new subscriber is showing up on our list here. If we click on the list name, we then see our list and this is the information I just entered in the form a moment ago. And now we can go ahead and send email from MailChimp to the users that sent a message through that form. And you can do this for unlimited number of forms. So you could have a different form on every page if you wanted, probably overkill, but you could. Or you could have a different form in different categories or just one form where everybody goes. So that's how easy it is to integrate Contact Form 7 and MailChimp. I hope this video helps you. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below this video. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.